It's okay. You're at Kami's lookout. It's over. Gohan took care of Perfect Cell. Everything's gonna be all right. Gohan? Yeah, he was unbelievably strong. Even you wouldn't be able to touch him. You owe Krillin your thanks. He risked his life to save you once Cell spit you out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I, uh, I couldn't have just left you there. Oh, I think I get it! You like her, don't you, Krillin? You like 18! Don't blurt it out like that! <laughs> so what, little man? You want me to hold your hand or something? Is that what you want? Hey, what's your problem? Is there any way to treat the guy that saved your life? Huh? Calm down, Yamcha. We need to focus. We have to get all the Dragon Balls and use them to revive Trunks and everyone else who was killed. Uh, right. Uh. Why did it get dark all of a sudden? What is that? Uh, please bring back all the people who were killed by Cell! <laughs> Consider it done. Uh, 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 where am I? Interesting. Still can't sense Goku's energy. State your second wish. Wait, wait! Can't you bring back Goku? I'm afraid not. Goku has already been brought back from the dead once before. State another wish. Well, there you go. He can't do it. No. There's got to be a way. We can figure this out. Hey, hey guys, guys! It's me, it's Goku. Goku! Goku? I'm, I'm talking, talking to you from, from Otherworld. Otherworld. Listen, Listen up. So, I was talking to Bulma earlier, and she mentioned the fact that I've always got all these bad guys coming after me. And when you really think about it, it sucks how right she is. All that's to say, I think it's probably better for the Earth if I just stay here. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make a heroic sacrifice or anything. I'm actually getting some special treatment here because I saved the Earth so many times. Normally when you die, you turn into a spirit. But I'm getting to keep my body. Plus, I've got plenty of super strong people from the past to keep me entertained. Which, I'm not gonna lie, is cool. That doesn't mean I don't feel marginally bad for Chi-Chi and Gohan, but you guys don't need to bring me back. Gohan's already way stronger than me now anyway, so you'll be fine. Uh, Dad, that's not true. Gotta go. Bye! Okay, and make sure to look me up or whatever when you die. Bye-bye! Uh, you know, if you ask me, he seemed awfully happy and upbeat for a dead guy. I grow tired of waiting. State your second wish. Do you not have a wish? That's right! So what should we do? Are we going to wish for something? <laughs> uh, Shinron! Can you make Android 17 and 18 human again? Oh. <sighs> that
that cannot do. The androids are far beyond the reach of my power. Uh, well, I guess it was kind of a long shot. Why Android 17? I thought he was dead. No. He was just brought back with the others killed by Cell, so he's alive now. Well, then can you at least remove the explosive devices that they have implanted in their bodies? That I can do. There. The devices have been removed from their bodies. Farewell. Why would you wish for something like that? Well, I felt bad for them, you know? I mean, who wants a bomb inside their body? But why remove the device from Seventeen's body, too? Well, uh, I thought Seventeen and Eighteen might be good for each other. Uh I don't think I'm ever going to understand it. This whole love thing. You idiot! Uh? Seventeen and I are brother and sister. I told you to leave me alone. And don't think I'm going to thank you for removing the bomb. Ever. Later. Hey, she said later. Maybe that means she wants to see you again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I'd be a lot happier, uh, I guess, if it weren't for the fact that Goku's not here. Well, I think I'm going to head back. Chaozu's probably worried about me. Right. I'm gonna get going, too. So, Trunks, when are you heading back to the future? I think I'll stay one more night and get some rest before leaving tomorrow. All right. We'll see you off tomorrow, then. Mr. Piccolo, are you gonna stay here now? Yeah, that's the plan. Would it be okay if I visited you every now and then? Of course. Bye, Mr. Popo. Bye, Dende. Stop by whenever you want. My... father? Oh yeah, trust me, he was pretty upset when you were killed. He flipped out and went all berserk on Cell. Wow, my father? He did that?
It's me, Goku! With Cell totally gone, Earth is finally at peace once again. Hard to believe that was seven years ago. I can't help but wonder what everyone's up to. Well, look at that! Gohan's as tall as me now! I'd love to go a few rounds with everyone again. Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z Galactic Showdown with the mighty Majin Buu. You really don't want to miss it, trust me. If you fail, you'll have what it takes to finish the job. Believe in yourself and become the man you're meant to be. You've got this, Trunks. Yeah! This is it. It's time the androids learned what we humans could do. Give it a rest, would you, 17? We've already killed almost everyone here. We should head somewhere where tons and tons of people are hiding. It would be way why are you in such a rush? Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. If we wipe out all of humanity now, then the fun ends and we've got nothing left to do, right? So Gohan, back for more, huh? No more running away. We're gonna kill you this time. I won't die. Even if you destroy my body, I'll live on in someone who'll become stronger than me. And he will be the one to stop you once and for all. Let's do this, you freaks! Hey, no need to get so worked up. Don't worry, we'll make this work. Yeah, we've grown tired of playing with you. Down you go! Where's the little runt you brought last time? It's none of your business, jerk. Why you? 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 Where's all the macho hero attitude gone? Here I go! What? You're planning on winning all by your lonesome? I'm more than enough to beat you. Here I go! Try to keep up, okay? Shut on this! You're a mess. I was hoping you could have at least a little more fun. What a pain in the ass. Say goodbye! You're weak. Extremely weak. 
You know that? You're done. Give it up. The only one who's done is you. Whoops. Psych. <laughs> <laughs>
I feel awful for having to disappoint you like this, but we've only been fighting at half our full power. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Gohan. more in you than that. Guess you don't have it in you to fight back. <laughs> so the fun's over, isn't it? You gotta give up or what? You should. <laughs> it's cute you're trying so hard. Let's go! <laughs> I think it's time you finally die. This is your last chance to stand up to us. Come on, Gohan. Even can! Even if... beat me... somewhere... stronger. <laughs> I think it's time to put him out of his misery, Seventeen. Hmm. Okay. Show's over, I guess. Sense him. I can't sense his energy. Go on. Go on. Something's not right. Where are you, Go on? Because I'm weak. He was trying to protect me. G go on. Go on. No, go on. Please, no.
Trunks had finally become a Super Saiyan. However, the transformation came at a great cost. Three years have passed. As the only warrior left to stand against the android menace, Trunks continued his training, hoping to one day avenge Gohan and the others. Holding on to hope, end of the android apocalypse. I'm back, Mom. Welcome home, Trunks. How was your training? You won't believe it. I feel like I'm finally making some real headway. I might actually be as strong as Gohan was back then. Good. You definitely look pretty confident. But don't let your guard down. Right. I know. Well, you can never be too safe. Oh, that's right! Oh, it won't be much longer until the time machine is finished! <laughs> what kind of a response is that? This is a time machine we're talking about! A time machine! I, I know. I'm really impressed with what you've done. Once it's ready to go, you'll be able to head to the past and meet Goku, Gohan's father. You've probably heard of him. And give him his heart medication. With Goku alive and able to fight, something ought to change. Then you can head back to the moment when the androids arrive to help with the fight. Oh, and gather some useful intel for me. I can then use that information to figure out their weaknesses and exploit them here in our time. But no matter how much I travel to the past, our world won't go back to the way it was. All the people we've lost, they won't come back, will they? Probably not, no. Right. That means my father and Gohan will still be gone. But I should be strong enough to stop the androids now. I shouldn't have to go to the past. Oh, uh, that reminds me, Trunks. There's something I need you to do for me. Really? What's that? Something small. Should be a pretty simple thing. Remember how I told you the time machine's almost complete? Well, I actually don't have enough of what I need for a super important, really critical part. Could you help me out? Sure, I can do that. Where can I find what you need? Mount Paozu. You know, where Chi-Chi's, uh, Gohan's house is. You know how to get there, right? Oh. Yeah, I do. Unfortunately, I don't remember the exact spot where you can find the materials. Maybe try asking Chi-Chi or the Ox King. It's been a little while since I've seen them, so I could see how they're doing while I'm at it. Good. That's my boy. If they need anything, make sure to help them out, okay? Sure. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's what I need you to bring back for me. <laughs> Thanks. Got it. I'll see you later. First, I'd better go talk to Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi and her father are home. Hello? It's me! Trunks! Trunks? Hold on just a sec! Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? What brings you here? Sorry, it's been so long. My mother needs my help with something. Do you have a minute? Sure. We weren't really doing anything right now anyway. Isn't that right, Dad? Yeah. The androids never show up here, so uh, we've got it pretty good. 
At least, not as bad as people in the cities. Oh, okay. I wanted to see if you guys were doing okay or if you needed anything. No, we're okay. Glad to hear you were thinking about us, though. What about you? You and Bulma all right? Yeah, my mother's actually working on something. Oh, that's right. She asked me to come here and help find something she needs. I'm looking for this. Do you know where I can find it in this area? Hmm, I have no idea. What about you, Dad? Well, uh, let's see. Oh, there is a place somewhere on this mountain. But the thing is, it's... Is there something I should know about it? Yeah, some weird machines are wandering around the area. <laughs> Nasty little thing of a bobs. They'll attack if you get too close. I think they're old Red Ribbon Army robots. Oh, yeah. Chi-Chi, you were attacked by some robots before. Maybe they're the same type. If we don't do something about them, they might make their way here and attack you again. I'll take them out while I look for what I need. Oh, that'd be a huge help. Thank you. Oh, no, you don't. Chi-Chi? I can't send you off somewhere where you could potentially get hurt! If something were to happen to you, I wouldn't hear the end of it from Bulma. She blamed me, no doubt. Chi-Chi. It's okay. I can handle robots like that no problem. After all, Gohan was the one who trained me. Besides, I'll be careful. You don't need to worry about me, I promise. Once I'm done there, I'll head right back. <sighs> okay, fine. If you're going to give me that look, I guess I can't stop you. But if you find yourself in trouble, you get out of there. Got it? Right. Come straight back here if you need to. Of course. Okay, then I'm off. I suppose Gohan did train him after all. He even sounds just as confident as Gohan. Chi-Chi, Ox King. I was able to find what I was looking for. I also took out those Red Ribbon Army robots. Good. I'm glad to see you're safe and that you got what you needed. Me too. Way to go, Trunks. You're becoming quite the capable warrior. Have I told you you're like Vegeta? It's because of Gohan and his training that I'm as strong as I am now. And it's because of him that I'm even alive. Well, I'm sure Gohan would be really happy to hear that, if he were here. While I am lonely without Goku and Gohan, I've got my dad here to keep me company, and Bulma's got you, doesn't she? True. At least we all have each other. Speaking of Bulma, you said she was working on something? Then again, I guess she's always doing that, huh? <laughs> you got that right. Actually, this time, she's working on a time machine. That's why she needed what I came here to get. Uh, did you say time machine? Wow, that's, uh, one heck of a thing to create. I'm pretty sure Bulma might be a genius or something. She's going to have me use the time machine to go to the past. That way, I can give Goku some medication to keep him from dying. With Goku alive, we should be able to find a way to stop the androids. Well, that's the plan, at least. Wait, so does that mean Goku and Gohan will come back to life? <clears throat> Probably not. I don't think changing anything in the past will affect us here. It's really unfortunate. Oh, I see. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. Uh, oh, no, it's, it's okay. If you can save Goku in the past, please do so. At least past me won't be so depressed. I'd be a little jealous of her, though. Yeah, I'm with Chi-Chi on that one. I understand. I wish there was something I could do. You're sweet, Trunks. You don't need to worry about us. Make sure you keep taking care of Bulma, okay? Be careful on your way back. You're welcome here anytime. Oh, and tell Bulma I said hi. Okay, thanks, you two. I'm off then.
I'm back, Mom. This is what you needed, right? Yep, that's it. Oh, now I've got what I need to finish the machine. <laughs> Thanks. So, how are Chi-Chi and her dad doing? They're fine, but they still seem like they're struggling with Gohan's death. If I can find some time, I should probably try to visit them occasionally. Right. I'm sure they'd appreciate that. It would be great to head to the past and help create a world where Gohan and the others are still alive. I sure wish I could at least take the androids out now and bring peace to our world. Sure, that would certainly help us here, but we don't have what it takes to pull that off right now. That's why we need you to go to the past and save Goku. That'll hopefully change everything we need to help us here. I mean, better than letting the androids continue to toy with you, right? Even if it is another world, there should be a future without the androids somewhere. Come on, you've got to give it a shot. It, you're right. Trunks, I finally did it! Thanks to your help, I was finally able to finish my work on the time machine! Really? I should be able to charge up enough energy for a round trip pretty soon! Twenty years into the- I think you'll still be good to make it back here safely, though. I would have been able to create a much more reliable machine if my lab hadn't been destroyed. Mom, I think I'm strong enough to beat the androids now. We won't have to risk a trip to the past. Oh, Trunks, not this again. I'm serious. I'm confident. I have what it takes now. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news on the android threat. The androids have been spotted wreaking havoc in the vicinity of West City. That's close. Wait a minute, Trunks. Don't you even think about it. I'm heading over there. I can't let them keep doing this. Trunks, stop! Do not go fight them! Hey, Seventeen. I think we killed everyone here. Let's head back. Good call. All right, you monsters. The killing stops today. You're going to pay for what you did to Gohan. Hmm, it's the brat again. Still hasn't learned his lesson, huh? You don't know when to give up. I hate that. <sighs> How's that? I did it! I finally did it! What? Hmm. <laughs> I'll give you a little credit. You are actually stronger. But your attacks are too predictable. You're just gonna tire yourself out, little guy. No! This can't be happening! What? Where... Where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this to us? Well, Dr. Giraud created us to help him take over the world, but honestly, we couldn't care less about that. We can't stand looking at you people. We just hate you. It's that simple. That's why you're killing us. You have to be stopped. I'm an idiot. I wasn't strong enough on my own. The androids are far too strong. Gohan's dead, and I learned nothing from his death. I guess... I guess I have to use the time machine 
to go to the past. Though critically wounded, Trunks managed to survive, and in five days' time, he awakened. His fight made him acutely aware of his shortcomings, so he decided to take Bulma's advice and travel to the past. All set. Remember, you absolutely have to give Goku his heart medication. And be careful, okay? Right. You too, Mom. I'm counting on you, Trunks. Okay. Wish me luck. And so, Trunks journeyed to the past, dispatching Frieza and his men with ease, and meeting a younger Vegeta and Bulma, as well as their friends. Shortly thereafter, Goku arrived on Earth. Trunks informed him of the events set to take place in three years' time, and gave him the heart medication. Still hopeful his actions in the past would improve his world, Trunks made his way back to his mother in the future. I'm back, Mom! Welcome home, Trunks! The time machine hold up okay? Yeah. I was able to meet Goku and give him the medication. Oh, that's a relief. I wasn't able to run any tests on the machine, so I was worried it might malfunction. Then again, a genius like me doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> so, did you happen to meet anyone else? I did. I met a younger you and Gohan, as well as Krillin. And father too, of course. Oh, you met a younger me. Well, what did you think? I was a looker, wasn't I? I mean, that hasn't changed, of course. I yeah, she trusted me right away. I'm guessing it's because she sensed some sort of connection with me. Uh, huh. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, right. I didn't have much of a choice. So... You said you met Vegeta, huh? He was a real pain. I bet he gave you one heck of a hard time. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say he was a pain, but he was definitely intimidating. I could tell he had a strong sense of pride. <laughs> yeah, that's him. He was pretty standoffish, so I didn't get to talk to him much, which is good, I guess. I couldn't let him find out who I am. But I was glad I finally got to meet him. Maybe it's for the best you two didn't talk much. Who knows? You might have ended up regretting meeting him. Back then, he was... different. So he really was a difficult person then? Uh, kind of. But he wasn't always so cold to everyone, you know. Oh yeah? I'm sure I would have learned that if I'd had more time with him. Anyway, all that's left to do is wait for the androids to show up there and go provide support. I wonder how Goku and the others are going to fight the androids. I hope they can find a way to beat them. Okay, I'll start getting the time machine in working order again and charge up some energy for another round trip. It'll take some time, though. So make sure you're good and ready for the trip. Right, will do. Oh, it'd be nice if the time machine finished charging sometime soon. Are you good to go? The machine still needs a bit of time to charge, so just hold tight, okay?
The machines finally got enough energy for another round trip. Now you can go back and help the others. I hope they're all safe. I'm sure they are. Maybe they've already defeated the androids and brought peace back to the world. If that's the case, it might be nice to bring the others back here with me. The time machine only has room for one person. But I can totally see the others cramming their way in anyway. Goku would jump at the chance to take on more powerful opponents. <laughs> You're right. Based on what I saw of him, he would probably be excited to come here. But if they haven't defeated the androids, you're planning on joining in on the fight, aren't you? Just be careful, okay? Don't get yourself killed. I won't. And you stay safe too, Mom. I'll make it back in one piece. I can't rest until our world is at peace too. And so, Trunks made his way back to the past. Little did he realize that waiting for him there were two completely different androids, as well as less ruthless, but still dangerous androids 17 and 18. And to make matters worse, Cell, a bio-android far deadlier than the other androids, had appeared and threatened all life on Earth. But thanks to Goku and the others' training, as well as Gohan's transformation into something beyond that of a Super Saiyan, Cell was defeated. With peace now restored in the past, Trunks returns to the future, more experienced and determined to save his world. Mom, I'm back. Welcome home, Trunks. Wait just a minute. Look at you. They say kids grow up fast, but this is ridiculous. I trained in a special place called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. It's on Kami's lookout. One year inside is only a day on the outside. Not really sure how that works, but at any rate, I'm just glad you're back and doing okay. So, did everything work out? That look on your face tells me it did. It did. Oh, so Goku still ended up dying in the end. Well, at least Gohan was able to avenge him. Yeah. Oh, and you were right about Father. He wasn't just a cold-hearted person after all. Huh? When I first saw him fight, I honestly thought he was just a ruthless, selfish person. You know what I mean? If you and baby me were ever in danger, he didn't try to save us. All he cared about was his opponent. Oh, Vegeta. Can't say I'm all that surprised, though. <laughs> but during the year me and him trained together, he was more focused on the moment. He was tough on himself and even seemed a little lonely. Right. Now that I think about it, he could be like that at times. He wouldn't spar with me at first, but eventually he grew to acknowledge my power. We would have serious sparring matches and sometimes even conversations. Conversations? About what? Um, well, I say conversations, but it was really just me talking to him, not with him. He would only reply with, I see, or Mph. The conversations never really went anywhere. Jeez, <laughs> that's Vegeta for you. But, right as our training was coming to an end. Trunks tells Bulma of his time in the past, specifically when Cell, eager to increase his power, began draining the population of their energy. 
Nearly a year inside the hyperbolic time chamber had passed since Vegeta and Trunks first entered and began their training to defeat Cell. Come at me at full power. Okay, father. Here I go. You know, it's almost been a year since we started our training. We should probably get ready to give the room to Goku and Gohan. No. Not until I achieve the absolute power I deserve. I intend to use every second we've got in here. But you've already broken the Super Saiyan barrier. Are you trying to push yourself even further? <laughs> if I plan on destroying Cell and finally putting Kakarot in his place, then I need to be stronger. I'm not going to get through to him at this point. He won't stop training until he's the one who's satisfied. Father, is surpassing Goku more important to you than defeating Cell? <laughs> You've got it a bit wrong. What I want is simply to be number one. Kakarot just happens to be an obstacle between me and my rightful place at the top. And what's worse is that he's a Saiyan like me. Trunks, as a proud Saiyan yourself, you should never set limits on the power you can attain. You should always strive to be the best. But know this, as long as I'm around, you're going to have fierce competition. Father, this might actually be the first time he's given me fatherly advice, if you can call it that. This obsession with power. Goku loves to fight powerful enemies too. Maybe it's a pure-blooded Saiyan thing. In my world, all I could think about was defeating the androids. Restoring peace was more important to me than the pursuit of strength. You said that Gohan was the only one who trained you, right? <laughs> he's just as soft and naive as Kakarot. No, he's not. What's even more concerning, though, is that I was killed by the androids in your time so easily. Me, the Prince of the Saiyans. Huh? Don't be satisfied with simply beating the androids and restoring peace. Those are short-sighted goals at best. I'm going to push myself harder. And I won't stop until I am number one. If you do the same, and you aim for something better, I'm sure you'll have no problem with the androids. Father... You're right. I'll do what I can. I see. So that's what he told you. Why does he have to encourage him in such a roundabout way? I actually tried talking to him about other things, too. But when I asked him when he started to develop feelings for you, he got really angry and told me to stop asking dumb questions. <laughs> also, in the fight with Cell, he got really angry when Cell killed me. Wh what did I tell you? I told you he wasn't that bad. Yeah. Wow, was that really my Vegeta? I never knew he had that side to him. Oh, what a relief. I'm glad to hear things ended well over there. I'm relieved too. Looks like going to the past was a good call. The past may be at peace now. But our world here is still in turmoil because of androids 17 and 18. I can't let them get away with this anymore. We interrupt this program to bring you news on the android crisis. Androids 17 and 18 are currently laying waste to... The androids. This ends today. I'll be back, Mom. Trunks, are you sure you can do this? I'll be fine. 
This is the whole reason I went back in time and met Goku, Gohan, my father, and the others. The past has its peace now. We deserve our own. Be careful, Trunks. Please don't get yourself killed. Of course. And this is it. I can finally avenge Gohan and the others. <laughs>